right hello everyone so in this lesson you will be learning everything about how to get started with kareem.email and how do you set up the entire account plus you will be learning how to add contacts in two different formats so let's begin so once you make the payment you will find something like uh, this particular dashboard and here is where you have to go to the app dashboard right so now you go to the app dashboard the moment you come here they're going to ask you certain questions which you need to answer and show your authenticity of your business so what is a business category you can choose uh, whichever niche you belong to and for me i'm just going to put into education how can kareem.email help your business please enter your uh, business website or social media so here is where you should be apparently entering uh, your business details yes and do you have an email database yes or no so you have to be very genuine about it and uh, go accordingly yes so if you have a email database then they're going to ask you two different questions which is where did you get your email database uh, you're going to explain and you have to show your previous uh, email marketing services you used before and uh, this is how they check the uh, authenticity and all of that so if you don't have one you can just click on no and go to the next one yes so I'm just going to click on no and move ahead since I'm just doing some testing for you all here. But uh, if you already have a database, just go explain it here and then add the uh, add the file over here. And if you've never used an email marketing tool, this is again a platform that you want to click. All right. So you go to next. So here is where you start introducing your business name and, co and company, add your address, city, province, uh, phone number, and then you click on continue. fill that they're gonna ask you certain uh, details about your personal data and uh, all of it so uh, go ahead and finish uh, these three things and click on continue this is important uh, one of the most important questions that I keep receiving here is whether I cannot use my own personal email ID you have to understand here that if you start using your personal ID uh, there is a very high chances that your email IDs might land into spam box and it's a never uh, never a good uh, technique to use your personal ID for your email marketing uh, activities so it's always better to have your own uh, business domain and business email and you can get that either from the service provider or you can uh, you know uh, hire a monthly service from G Suite and all of that so this is where you can do or otherwise you can uh, buy it directly from here itself once you complete the process of email verification of your business email this is what you see so you have completed the initial steps to build closeness with your customers using kareem.email platform and then all you click is go to dashboard so this is how your dashboard looks like and now we will go and upload the list so there are two ways you can add the list one is direct upload from your excel sheet and the other way is uh, direct integration uh, syncing with your google sheet this is an amazing feature where uh, you can sync your google sheet and if you add the data uh, it will directly go and uh, get added to the list in kareem.email so I'll, i'm just going to uh, show you how it is done and it's going to give you much more clarity over here so the first option is just go to list and here is where you will create a new list now you can uh, i'm just going to call it as a testing one and public name let it be testing list as well and yeah so it get me the default confirmation template and you just click on submit right so list has been created all right so once the list is created there are, there is one important thing over here is where you will click on subscribers if you want to get started and adding so here is where you can see there is a zero active subscriber my list name has been added as testing and now i'm going to be just clicking on subscribers button over here now the moment i click on this there is an option called as import subscribers and uh, also i can just add it manually as well so let me just add it manually right now and i can add certain tags as well over here so i'm just going to click on summit i've just created an email id help at the rate concentration.in and let's see i don't think this particular email id is active but any which way let's try it out 
so you're gonna click on submit and it will go and check and the subscriber has been added right so now if you go back and look at your list it says yep so you can see there is an active subscriber one so i all i did was adding it manually one by one but of course it's a tedious process if you add one by one that is another way where you can just import subscribers and here is where there are two options uh, that you get one is continue importing contacts second is integration with google sheets so first i'm going to be telling you how you can directly import the contacts using the excel sheet uh, that you have and next how you can sync it with google sheet and uh, how you can add the the moment you add the email ids in the google sheet it will automatically uh, uh, drop into uh, the list over here so now continue importing the contacts all right so here is where you will click on the file size right so here is where the file has to be added and the maximum file size is just 2 mb so you got to make sure that your file is in the csv or excel uh, sx format and all of it so how to do that is very simple uh, if you have a list so i just created a dummy data over here testing and all of it so you, you click on file you click on download and either you download it at this particular format or in the csv format and the moment you do that um yeah so you just have to add the file from here so i'm just gonna add the file right now right now one most important thing is they check for the validity so you'll have to tell them from where did you acquire those leads yes so this is where uh, there is a guide that comes with it and you have to tell or you just have to show a proof where is the opt-in that has been created the landing page or the form or whether you you have a pop-up on your website or any other platform that you're using to acquire email ids uh, is where you just take a picture of it and you upload it here that is that is how they're going to actually validate the entire format so that is this is one way to go about uh, adding your list the second way is direct integration so let's get to that right now you go to list and then you will click on subscribers again okay so yeah you will click on import subscribers and you will click on integrations with google sheets So here is where you will start connecting uh, with a Google sign in and you'll have to add permission pretty much basic steps uh, like you'll have to put in your uh, Gmail account ID password and then it will go and fetch all the Excel sheets that you have in that particular account. So if you do this process, uh, you, you will be able to uh, proceed through. So once you sync it, you will arrive at a screen like this and uh, yeah, you can choose the file name. You will see the sheet name that is here. So let me just up uh, yeah so this is here uh, which is the kareem.email test that i've just created for you all and uh, this is how you can see um, yeah so this is where i've added the testing emails and uh, it uh, the sheet already pops up uh, you can data map over here and name with the full name and email with the email so email is definitely uh, the must in your google sheet and you can add to the lists uh, that you want to add it to now here is an important information the sync duration has to be one and the sync period you can choose so this is uh, an important uh, aspect is uh, how often we should check the google sheet every 30 minutes every one hour so how often do you want them to go and check whether a data has been updated or not so uh, the less the better right uh, so 30 minutes is the time that you can give and you can go and choose any period that you want but 30 minutes is a good one because it will go and keep checking whether a data has been added it's waiting for data to actually arrive in your google sheet and the moment it comes it's going to go and add to the list which is testing over here yes and now you will click on the status as running and you will just click on save So the sheet uh, sync has been created and now the status says it's running. 
all right so the thing is they're going to take some time uh, for adding the list because there are two things happening because the email validation is happening it's going to take uh, the, the process is slower as such uh, but uh, you can wait for it to upload and then uh, this is how it is so status has to always be running and uh, you will notice that uh, two email IDs should be added um, in about uh, no time from now so this is how you can create and add uh, data via Google Sheets and this is how you can keep it in sync for every 30 minutes so the moment any email ID is added to your Google Sheet uh, it will automatically pick up over here yes so now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be telling you one more integration which is a game changer over here which is the facebook lead ads form right so here you can see you can add google ads lead form as well which is crazy feature uh, here but i'm just going to be showing you how you can do it via facebook so let's see if yeah so inside Facebook, you will just go and click on connect to your uh, Facebook account where you're running the advertisements. And there, once you add uh, connect to the Facebook account, you will come to the manage page option where you will be adding the page from where you're running the ads. And then you will click on add form, uh, basically whichever ad form that uh, is active on your, on your, uh, on your page and uh, the moment lead starts coming in again it, it's it's similar process as what i've showed you for google sheet i will just go and start adding as such yes so here is where, where you can notice that i've done it for myself i added uh, the connection and uh, it's, it's it says it's connected and i will go and go to the manage page here is where you can click on new page and you can add uh, your pages that are connected to, to, to the ads that you're running now once you add the page the most important aspect here is it will show not active and you'll have to click on the subscribe button that's when this particular not active becomes active so this is one crucial step that you have to see here before you proceed so once this is done once this is done you go back to the integrations you will go back to the Facebook you will click on add form and now whatever form is associated uh, with that page uh, is going to go and pick up so here is where you can notice the page name is this the list where i want to add people uh, uh, is i can choose over here and then the form uh, is where i can pick up any form that i'm uh, i want from here so this is very simple three-step process you connect the facebook sheet uh, sorry your facebook account then you manage the page you click on manage page you add the page that is associated and click on subscribe and third step is you come to the add form option where you will just go and pick up the form that you want here so once you do that uh, it's pretty simple whatever is added in that particular form the email id is directly associated uh, with this uh, with the email list so here is where it says created so whatever is being added I will start uh, compiling into the sheet as such. So here is where I will just go and click on delete because this is just a testing one. Right. Okay. So this is deleted and this is how you can integrate Facebook account as well. Here are a few things that you need to remember. Uh, first thing is it's going to take some time to upload the list. So be patient with that because a lot of people are asking question that the list is not uploaded. What happened and all of it. Uh, so customer team is super super uh, supportive uh, make sure you go and check with them also what happened in your case but be very patient because the list upload uh, time uh, is little slow over here because they are also validating the email list for you right so that is one thing you have to keep in mind so if your list size is slow I mean it's a small then it's going to be quicker process if the list size is huge uh, it's going to take some time uh, to actually get through right so that is one thing and the next uh, most important question that i ask is people uh, they're not able to send a broadcast so all you have to do is clear the cache and if you restart uh, you should be able to log in uh, into your account and you should be able to send emails as such so this is all about how to get started with kareem.email